All right, all right. Time to get started. <clears throat> Hopefully everything is everything is up and running right. <clears throat> You're getting started more or less on time. <laughs> oh, so uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Volkata, and uh, we are, of course, returning back to Heart Space Shipbreaker. Uh, I've been uh, away for a couple weeks or so. I know that. And I apologize, it was kind of unscheduled. Some things have gone on in my life. And um, just, you know, things happen. And sometimes we, we just can't always do the things we want to do. But uh, I'm back up and running mostly. I also was, I was going to actually re resume um, last Sunday. and But I had a, a hardware failure. Unfortunately, I've been, I've been, uh, PC's been mostly non-functional for about a week and a half. It's still... It's still sitting in bits on the floor, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's at least functional enough right now to to stream this game. So that's uh, a positive turn. <laughs> uh, but we're getting we're getting back up and running, and so uh, uh, this is good. Uh, oh, Charmer, Gavin, good to see both of you. Um, glad to see people. I, I know I posted this a little late. I'm glad to see people got the. Uh, actually, saw that it came up. Uh, like I said I, I I had kind of delay on, on posting this because I had to make sure that the hardware was working enough to uh, actually actually run the game and stream the software and all that stuff is up and running. So if we run into any weird things, uh, just we'll deal with it. <laughs> I think we're, I think it's going to be fine. Um, the other warning is that uh, the sky is getting angry and it during that sentence, it just turned into a torrential downpour. So uh, uh, my battery backup is still out of function. So uh, if we have a power outage, I will be back as quickly as I can. So if everything just stops moving, uh, just wait, because I'll return. Hello, shipbreaker. Uh, Overnight genetic so I apologize ahead complete. of time if that happens. You know, I've warned them a number of times it's yet to happen, but it's going to happen one of these times. Um, it really, you feel like there's an observation to be made about your PC, my PC looking uh, like something uh, like a link ship would be in a subject. That's pretty true. Um, all the sides are open. You can see into the bays. There's a hard drive hanging out the side of it currently that is being strapped into place by a power cable. It's just uh, it's an embarrassing mess. But that's because I'm in the middle of transferring data and whatnot, and so um, it has to remain open and accessible until until everything is up and running, which is probably going to take another week or two. Uh, because part of my part of my hardware problem is a hard drive failure. <clears throat> uh, so uh, I'm in data recovery mode at the moment. Fortunately, it seems that uh, the Heart Space Shipbreaker stuff, I guess, is saved to the cloud. Because we haven't lost our save, uh, and uh, I loaded it up just to make sure it would run. Uh, this is a fresh download of the game, and uh, and it looks like it kept all my controls. So hopefully all the controls are still the same. Uh, we'll find out the hard way real soon. Uh, but uh, you know, it's all good. But that's. Uh, that's why I kind of wanted. To, this is my playing Heart Space was kind of our, our safe zone of streaming. Um, this is something that we. It's that's a, a variable that's not a variable, right? Because we know this well. And so making sure the system's running and the software running and everything. The one thing I don't have to worry about is whether or not the game is, is something that we're familiar with. Um, so I figured this would be a good way of, of getting back into the stream. And I was, you know, I'll take any excuse to play Heart Space because it was so good. It was so good. Uh, so last uh, Heart Space uh, stream, we actually refined our strategy for the um, uh, uh, the mackerel's name. Oh God, has it been that long since I played the um, the annoying mackerel, the science vessel? Um, the one that we never use because it's such a pain. Oh, that is so sad. How can I forget the name? I know the name of every other ship. 
Exolab, thank you. <laughs> we actually refined the Exolab strategy last time uh, uh, to make it much less of a pain, uh, which was great. Um, I don't have a, a specific thing. We, we've, we've refined a couple of strategies, the trash gazer. We've, we've, uh, we've kind of got our revenge on it and refined the strategy of it recently. Um, so I don't think, I think I want to do a station. I think last time I was saying that we didn't, we hadn't seen station hopper recently and I kind of want to do those. We don't normally start out with a gecko, but a, a station hopper this high up in the, in the, in the ranking is a good sign. Um, yeah, so we, yeah, we did, we finalized, uh, the strategy for the, the, the stargazer, um, what was it we did? We, uh, I think, oh, we cut, we, we cut the, uh, well, I, I say we finalized it. We came up with a strategy that I liked, which was that we, we cut the wall out, I think, for the, um, the ECU without disconnecting the ECU so we could pull the whole, uh, reactor unit out and then spin it and then pull the reactor out of it. That way we didn't have to go over the pipe. Uh, and we could still safely remove the, uh, thrusters which was what we were doing but we're also there's always the you know we could pull it inwards uh, cut our way through the interior because we always cut the ship in half there we can have two strategies that are viable but that was kind of the strategy we settled on i think um oh, we're gonna start out with it we don't always start with the gecko but we're gonna start with like station hopper yeah, i love the station hopper my second favorite ship in the game uh, i just kind of want to play it Yeah, yeah. How how is the? Oh yeah. Uh, it was always a, just just barge it, it which is what didn't make sense to me in um, the narrative of the game because how was the was the whole Buffalo kind of guy of you know maximum efficiency, don't waste anything. Warning, fuel levels are um, low. But he did have seem to be that mentality of uh, just barge it, just kind of. Uh, his attitude. Airlock depressurizing. Um, why not? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Station Hopper doesn't have two openings. The Station Hopper does not have two airlocks. Am I, am I confused? I don't remember this. Okay. We're gonna pull this out. Am I thinking of something wrong? No, I, I have a clear mental image of the, the, uh, the station hop because, um, one side one side has a storage room. The other side has the airlock. They're in this position, but there should only be one airlock. And then there should be a storage room behind the second, the, the storage room that's next to the, uh, next to the uh, passenger quarters, the, the, uh, econo class, economy class. Uh, I can't wait to get in the ship and see what the. Credit. Could there be, a, could there be a variance? I don't know. I mean, I would have to say I, I wouldn't say there's been one added because I don't think there's been any updates to the game. But it could be a variant that we've just never discovered. I feel like I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to have a a, a a duh moment where I go, oh yeah, no, I'm thinking of something else. But until I get inside here, I, I swear it's not because there's the pattern that we cut out of the floor from underneath, uh, and we don't cut out the airlock room. Yeah, see, this right here should be storage. This should not be an airlock. 
And right behind it would be storage. More storage with a poster. Lots of posters. I want to. <laughs> I want to go back and look at my previous videos now. Like, am I am I just crazy? Has it been that long? Is it? Okay, so there's no there's no uh, king regulator in that room, but there is one in here. By the way, I'm, I'm while I am walking around in a in a flying flying around in, a, in a, a kind of a daze here, my confusion. I am actually paying attention to things. Lots of lots of working regulators. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I'll have to throw it to the peanut gallery if you guys remember. Does, it, am I wrong? Does anyone else think this is strange? By the way, free fuel. Yes, thank you. I don't remember there being this many posters in here either. That's awesome, because we are still looking for a poster. I'm getting all the floating debris that we can out of the way. Out of here. Yeah, the the only um, off the top of my head, the only gecko that has two oh, another poster uh, has two airlocks is the heavy cargo, and that's that's the two in the rear. Oh, it's um, it's always cool to find. I'm still questioning. I, I think it can be either side, right? I think that because um, you remember our first death at the hands of the uh, the AI. It was in this ship. We we cut this door out as they repressurized, and we get hit in the face by a uh, by the explosion. Which cracked our our visor, uh, and we tried to escape, and they closed the door on us and repressurized. And we tried to go. I think we tried to go left to go out this airlock. And they, as we were approaching it, they closed it and, and pressurized it. But we didn't have a second airlock to go out of, so I, I feel like this is normally the storage bay. That's got to be it. This is normally the storage bay. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's the difference. This is the variant. This is normally storage bay. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay. So that's where the airlock normally is. All right. Um, I think that's going to be our button right there. No, no, no. It's not. It's going to be the one in there. Uh, it's, it's close to the front as we can get. Before we before we do any of that, there, there's not even a door here. In our atmosphere, uh, atmosphere regular. Uh, we're going to make sure that there isn't. Oh, that's a bright light. Look at that. Uh, making sure there's any any an ambush behind the, uh, the thrusters. I don't think we can hit the fuel lines, as we know they like to do, but they don't do it so often on this ship. More so on the uh, on the heavy cargo. I'm still thinking. I'm thinking about the layout of the of the trash gazer. Yeah. I, thanks for checking. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go with. Either there's either two options, uh, multi memory, uh, or this is just a variant that we never ran into. <clears throat> and and to be fair, we we'll talk about the the possibility that we played this game this much and not run into a variant. Uh, there was a patch where this was updated. Remember these, the the floor didn't used to be painted. And there's this whole color scheme going on. 
This happened after 1.0. It didn't happen recently, but we haven't done this ship an excessive amount of times since that patch came out that did update this ship. So it's entirely possible that this is in fact a variant that we just have never discovered that might have been introduced at that time. But now that we've spent uh, two-thirds of our shift debating over, <laughs> debating over what's right in front of us, which is the, that there was two airlocks, uh, probably should make a little bit of progress here. Airflow is not looking to move. I wanted to I wanted to get myself out in the open in case anything came flying, so I wanted to body block the uh Where did that Oh I didn't close the other door Okay, well that door was supposed to be closed. I don't know where that extra... I, I missed an airlock somewhere because one of them came flying at us. Yeah, something I don't know about, about hard space. It's... We got all that out. Um, it's always great to discover new stuff about games that you love, right? Put that down there because we're going to cut a hole in the floor anyway. Um, oh, and, and on the back on the subject about getting back to streaming, um, I fully expect to stream this weekend, probably Sunday. Uh, it is not clear on what I'm going Cutter? to stream. Got about five minutes left, so you're done for the um, I have a plan B, which is. Uh, Satisfactory, getting the getting back into my Satisfactory series. I need to do anyway. Um, but uh, that's not set in stone yet. Ooh, that, did you see that move? Why is that moving? I haven't cut anything on the... Did that... Because it's not attached there. And I'm having to find laser because all the, uh, the aluminum panels. All over the place here. Um, there might be something else. I'm, I'm, I'm eyeballing something else. That might be the stream for Sunday. But otherwise, um, we might work on my next Satisfactory episode. A large part of it will probably be me remembering how to play that game. <laughs> it's been a few months. Dust off the old spreadsheet. Oh goodness, do I still have that? Oh yeah, I think that was saved on my desktop. Not, not all files are currently uh, secured from the hardware. Well, over a terabyte of data that I need to Cover. Nice, that is open. A processing object. Send it. Applying credits to account. Make sure the lights on the inside of it. No lights. To move out of the way for these break their Transfer tether. Credits. There we go. Let's Valuable do a double check, make sure because we didn't pluck salvage. anything off the exterior of the ship, and I didn't secured. see anything. Account credit applied. A 
little bit of money in our pocket for this shift. And we don't want to pull the front away yet because we have not uh, prepped. Not I don't think there's anything on this wall. There are computer terminals at the top, but I'm not, not sure that they will be far enough down to be attached to the air filter. They are. Of course they are. There's no way this one comes out, but pre-cut it. Aluminum flying at us. Oh, take a liar out of me. You're watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute left. Uh, that. Not go there. It's unusual that we actually get something that the a crate is attached to that also goes to the barge. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit hey, buddy. You're supposed to be making us some money. Get in there. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's why I didn't push it real hard, because like, I don't think I can push that. We would have would have gone into orbit. Oh, this is gonna be a pathetic uh, eight eight for our first shift. <laughs> oh, that's not attached. I can't even grab that real quick. Like, uh, at least cut it. <laughs> I also uh, I went out and got the got the refill. Felt the tradition. I'm getting back in, getting back in the swing. Oh yeah, one million dollars. <clears throat> yeah, that's a that's a that's a stellar start. At this rate, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing this ship still by the end of the end of the end of the stream. Hey there, Crotty. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to fight with Newton. Hello, ship 100% of that force was going to be me going the, the other direction because there was part with mass on that chip hole. I was glad I didn't do a full charge. I was like, yeah, I'm not sure, but you know, get that. I haven't done it in a little while. I wasn't really sure. I didn't feel like that was something that was relying enough for me to move. Sometimes it's good to second guess yourself. Um, oh, dude, we can get inside now. Oh, mouse is getting a little squirrely. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Object processed. Transferring credits. Airlock pressurizing. Oh, I didn't need to close that one. Oh, uh, might as well. <laughs> I wanted to close that one, but it's already closed. And that was what got us killed when the AI was running the ship at one time. Yeah, we we have not we have not died in this run. We have not died to either the furnace or the uh, processor. Although we have had some very close calls. Break the spine here. Ooh, look at it go. Not 
probably gonna get credit for all the lights that are attached to it, too. Pretty much the only way. Well, how do we get shoved all the way over here? Pretty much the only way we're gonna get credit for those lights, because we are not gonna take time to pluck them off. you to turn. Actually, no, I don't. Because if I turn it this close, it's going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, it's going to impact that, and we don't want that to move yet. Get out of the way. Take that through. Nope. Oh, it, it, stop it. All those posters, and none of them are the one we're looking for. But, a lot more posters than usual, so that's encouraging. Maybe today will be the day. We got a unique variant, and a lot of posters. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Alright. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the rocket takeoff. That's why I resealed the door. So it's just fun to watch. Final countdown. Na na na. Na na na. Not sure how many bars that I can see before I get yeah, a strike. I wonder if there's an adverse outcome to being in the barge at the end of the shift. There, there is not. We've been we've been in the barge a number of times uh, when the shift ended. Did you really? You know that you know the rule, right? That's your one tether. All right, let's prep the front end. Grab that. Salvage deposit secured. The lights are really aggressive today, aren't they? I mean, it's great. I love that effect. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not want to do that. Would have been a mistake. I uh, know there hasn't been an update. Uh, we've seen that, but we've seen it very rarely, and I feel like, you know, that it's like a game engine thing. Like sometimes the particles don't load properly, or like maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. 
and I don't normally get it. Uh, who knows? I, I know we've seen that before, but we've seen it very rarely. I want to leave that. Do one on the inside of the berry grab it. That's already off the wall. Okay. We're off the wall. What else do we want to stuff in here? I need to stop to stuff in here. We had that, that epic de thing of a, of a cockpit recently. We've started something, right? How much stuff can we stuff in here? Our double stuffed uh, Oreo. Cockpit. Everything in here must be a barge item. It's a little bit dangerous putting the uh, posters in there because they're so easy to lose. first so the inner corner one didn't go nuts because of being trapped in the middle. Cut, cut, cut. Take your buddy. Now we're just getting uh, ridiculous. I'm not taking that entire room. Just, you know, a couple of chairs just to. Yeah. Add the back. One more. One more chair. And of course, there's the bright light. It's gonna go. And you know the door handle. And maybe the air lights too. That's that's absolutely it. We're not going into another room. We got a wayward regulator. Or two. Five minutes left, Cutter. All good? No, Dina. All good. I'm doing dumb stuff. Oh, look, that there was missing. I'm being a crazy person. Warning: fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available. All right, that's for absolutely it. The master jack. Oh, you know this isn't going to work, right? I mean. It's all going to just explode. See, look, it's already seeping out. Careful! I can't actually influence this. All right, stop the other. That we can get. That's just gonna be in the way. Salvage registered. 
Transferring credit. Back in there. You know, we, what we need to do is when we, if we're going to continue to do it with this Magnus, we need to do it before we start cutting the exterior hull so that the front is held in place. It can't be pushed out. Ooh. I'm not grabbing all the little bits, just the big guys right here. Because they're they're gonna get hit by the thing coming out. I don't want the stuff to be knocked all around. That, that's it. It's gonna be <laughs> at this rate. It's gonna be another very low. Uh, low value shift. <laughs> Done a, essentially nothing the shift. Need you to hurry along because I have to put a tether out that I'm going to have to cancel. We're going to we'll do the cockpit next shift because with a minute and a half we don't want to be high speed, you know, pulling it out and because we have to do fine manipulation of it, so we don't want to be rushed. Uh, I've turned in here. Object processed. Transferring credits. There we go. Come in. One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. All right? Sure thing, Dee Dee. Speaking of Dee Dee, there was a... Yesterday or day before, there was a... Um... To marathon for uh, the creator of Dexter's Lab. I guess he's got a new project. They were just 24 hours streaming all the different stuff that he's done. Samurai Jack and and, and, uh, and uh, Dexter's Lab. I, I had no idea that the person who, who made Samurai Jack was also the person who did Dexter's Lab. That was awesome to, to find out. I, I love both of those things. Yeah, Dexter's Live is so good. But I guess he's got some new, new something. Cartoon or production that he's... Uh, I think that was the whole point was to promote it. And there were other things that, that they were showing that I had no I had never even seen. They were very interesting. But it was great to see some see, see some samurai jack. Uh, a great and, and just really weird cartoon. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Your, your computer account at the university was named Dexter after death. Nice. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Yeah, Dexter's lab didn't exist when I was in college. We are almost out of tethers, but I cannot throw away five free tethers. Credits awarded. Oh, let's go. All right, everything is in a place where we can Material deposited. Account cancel credit tethers applied. as necessary.
Gotta be careful of bumping this because it's just no longer attached uh, to the ship. Which is strange that there's light in the... All the blue outline, I have to be very careful not to move the mouse one. Detaching us. Alright. Tell. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that a thing to behold? Alright. Now we get to carefully send all this stuff. Oh, 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 no. No, no, no. You don't get away. I don't think there were any bottles in there, so this is probably all safe to... Speed, pew, pew, pew! Oh, that's some dangerous! Oh, nice! Got away with it! Hey, how did you stay there? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so good! That was the best. We gotta do ourselves on that one. That was nice and clean, too. Oh. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. All right, did we miss anything? Really got all of it? Oh, that's incredible. I figured, it, I mean, obviously the ones up in the front that came out originally, but I expected there'd be some posters that maybe we wouldn't be able to see. I notice in the back there is a ring. You first. All right, there was a fuel canister somewhere in the back. I seem to recall. Not you. There you are. Fuel levels restored. All right, let's, uh, I think we get to cutting the floor up now. I need the spine out of the way. Get this first. Swinging. All right. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Salvage this is the. Access room to the roof. Oh, we got a double, double housing. Triple, whoa. We've never had a triple housing. Oh, you know what this means. We have, we have to save this. We have to save this so we can try to pull it off as one giant unit. It can't be quadrupled because we know that the, the top is the, uh, the airlock or the, the door to get to the exterior. All right, so we're gonna leave that part of the floor alone. Uh, start from the front. So we have, this is the uh, VIP section. This needs to be cut. 
It's a wall. That is now a double airlock. Wait a minute. No, airlock, airlock. So along the line here. I don't think that was clean. I'm guessing that that is going to still be attached. Don't dare cut through it right now because it could hit something above it. That is its own room. See you, room. We'll go ahead and cut. Floor out of. Separately without cutting across the line. room where the control panel is. I need to cut that side because we've already melted the beam. He's eager to come out now, so let's go ahead and grab it. I just realized I didn't even see how much money we made in the last shift. Material deposited. No, it wasn't going to be much. <laughs> uh, we need to cut across this anyway because that beam right there has got to be cut, so I be careful here. Um, storage room airlock. This should not... Oh, it will move. Okay. Awesome. The, the corner was not too tight. Try to drag it down just a little bit. Five million something. Thank you, uh, Peepog. Great name, by the way. Come on. I just want it to come down straight. We can spare a tether. Although this is going to be our last tether. Caution. Tether supply depleted. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Um, tethers. Tethers restored. Oops, oh, that's not what we want to grab to pull ourselves. Oh, don't break. Super easy. We got a good angle here. Loving it. Go. Go. Salvage deposit registered. Account credit. This is a good angle. We don't have to grapple fire them. We just slingshot them. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Oh, that one broke. It's about time. We look later and realize I had a bad angle Salvage and they all went off into, into orbit. Credits awarded. Something I'd do. Wow, there's one, look, one gigantic floor. I want to burn it to make sure it doesn't hit the... Yep. Go. flying saucer. So, yeah, see, there's not normally all these storage bins either. That's definitely, I mean, we Five we get left, them a little okay. bit, but normally it's mostly uh, terminals are not direct, directly on the ceiling. Oh, no, you are not. I thought that was a chair. Right place, wrong object. Salvage 
secured. Ooh. Applying credit. Here. Make the same mistake. Feels like some of these guys just don't appreciate the privilege of having tethers. I think they grow on trees. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Salvage deposit accepted. Long gone are the, the days in early access where you got a, a full refill of your tethers every shift. Just for free. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Those were some glorious days. Oh, yeah. Salvage Bump deposit it. secured. Credits awarded. Progress now. So we're on our third shift. We should be done in four shifts. Salvage See these two understood. Look how long they've been sitting there and they haven't broke their tethers. Value the privilege uh, of being assigned a tether. At. Salvage secured. Uh, I don't think there's Alex or Of course there is. It is Salvage an airlock. Secured. Credits deposited. Well, I was thinking that there isn't one on top. Oh, we didn't cut this out because Salvage of secured. the unique Account credit applied. Situation with a triple housing. We'll leave that room for now. Right attached. Nope. Applying credit to account. We're gonna come back to that room because we have one minute left and I want to start prepping this back. So we need to have tethers on it. Doing you know, its you know it's slow move. Not much time left, Cutter. One minute to go. Let me move. Thank you. Ah, look at those. They're just gonna have to go along for the ride for now. I'm gonna lower the mass, but the most important thing was getting the uh, thrusters detached. I have no idea what that connected to. <laughs> it certainly didn't go where I wanted it to. Yeah, nothing is free in the company store. It used to be, like this, back in the day, early, early, early access. Your, uh, your uh, tethers and demo charges and fuel all refilled themselves. Uh, 
at the uh, beginning of the next shift. Here you go, Gavin. Well, I appreciate you uh, stopping in, saying hi, and hanging out for us, with us while we could. Uh, try to make it Sunday if you can. Zoom Sunday is when we're going to be streaming. Um, but uh, have a great afternoon. Uh, so it's always good to see you. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. All right, we got nine million out of that shift, so mm -hmm. that was a little bit better, but we are, I think we're essentially a shift behind. That's where that tether went. How in the world did that happen? Uh, so we gotta, we gotta kick it in gear here. Oh, uh, that's aluminum. I don't think, I think there's something that's not cut yet. It can even move. I mean, those aren't cut. The spine's already broke, so that's not gonna hold it in place. There's probably something with that spine still not cut, but I wanna get these out first. At least get them detached. I almost, I almost tried to cut that from the long way and I would've hit that fuel tank. That would have been a terrible pain reaction. Where did they? I saw another aluminum panel. I think it's on port side. Clearly not these. That I cut. There it is. It's on the inside of the cut line, so I don't have to worry about hitting it. Ooh, that was really close to that panel. That was dangerous. Back to this beam behind us. We can get a shallow cut. Stop moving. Appear to be moving. We're running Solvent into anything. Applying credit. Out of here. Uh, those are not blocking it. later. That's freed up. Go with him. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. You don't have an excuse, buddy. You need to be moving. Not a good angle. We're gonna just bounce it. Woo! That worked out nicely. Uh, we got tailors that are breaking. Several of them. Try this again. Object processed. Transferring credits. Might have to 
pick it up on the inside, but I prefer to keep it as one piece at least long enough just to move it up. Oh, it does not want to budge. Lighten it up a little bit. Probably won't have a meaningful difference, but we are waiting on it to move anyway. And that's a miss. The thrusters are this close to it because it should have should have pulled away enough by now that they weren't poking out of the holes. We're just gonna break it up all day. Salvage deposit break that reactor. Applying credit. You're not melting. Why she words it that way. Other supply dropping. And it's like running out or not salvage secured. Dropping. Odd way of salvage secured. It's running low. So, you know, dropping Im implies that it's like a continual drain. Missing something. In... Oh, that's why the whole thing's not moving. I didn't break the spine right here. Ah, I, like I said, I knew there was something we were missing. Warning. Fuel I missed it that many critical. times. I think I was so Return focused on the, the bottom. Jack. The purchase supplies. Salvage registered. I had already Salvage resolved the credit. top. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Oh, we're gonna smack into that. Here you go. Okay. 
Saying dropping too often has the same effect of crying wolf, yeah. I like that fuel alarm. No, no chain reactions. Credit applied. No chain reactions here. Cancel hey all tethers. You've got five minutes left in the shift. Hope you're having fun. Hey, on, Dee, Dee thank you. Although we're going to have a whole extra shift because I goofed around. Don't break that tether. If the chain reactions are so fun to watch, I have to go back and watch all my old, old replays. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Uh, Thank you for your purchase. Because we are. Thank you for your this is a chain reaction free time. zone. For professionals. You'll have, to, you'll have to search for uh, something like, what was it, Don't Panic? What clips I did of uh, live stream events where we had uh, unfortunate incidents. And we had a uh, class two reactor meltdown on a uh, uh, on the cargo ship. Credit the, the salvage owner. Goodness, it has been so long since we played. Back in the old day, when they, you know, you would, when you would just look at the salvage runner funny, and it would self destruct. I do not miss those days. A lot of things I enjoyed about early access, but that was not one of them. <laughs> Bit of light enough for us to turn around. Get a little whirl. Okay, you are. These we are tethering because they are just unwieldy. Yeah, price to pay for the free refills. Yeah, I mean, I I missed the free refills, but uh, I you know it was always clearly not intended. So uh, we weren't mad when that. And they fixed that. <laughs> Sad to see it go, but not mad about it. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Probably need to go on the inside, which is not hard because we've got a door right there. Uh, to Cutter, get anything off of the walls. Salvage destroyed. Please revisit your training. What? 
What did we lose? Oh, she's got the thing that I just burned off. We had stuff going into the processor at the same time, so it threw me off for a moment there. I sent something in the wrong place. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. It made me think for a moment that I had made a mistake. This is why I was in such disbelief. Junk out of the way. Out of the way. Fifty-six, ninety. Here the bleed. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. No fuel. Yeah, I don't think we have any free fuel left in here. Point one percent so far destroyed. Almost all of which is just uh, the aluminum bars that we've had to cut to, uh, to liberate things. About 9 million. Mm -hmm. Going on to the rare fifth shift. There is a, a bunny out in my yard that's pushing a branch around. Something that's fallen off of a tree and he's like, his little feet are digging because he's trying to push. He is just fascinated with that branch. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Beauty. Wild bunnies. <clears throat> He probably wouldn't be uh, carefree playing with that branch if he realized that I have two hawks that live in the top of that tree that he's under. <clears throat> you missed your target. Whenever I see the bunnies out there, I want to go out there and give them food, but the worst thing you can do is desensitize animals to humans. Wild animals. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. Oh. Not just going in from a distance. Now all the fuel things out of these, right? It appears. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. If my uh, if my camera were mobile, I would turn it to show you guys that. Salvage secured. <sighs> Credits bunny deposited. Outside. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Okay, it's junk. We have pretty thoroughly looted this ship. Uh, we gotta take the fuses still, but beyond that, we're... <laughs> that little guy there. We have uh, just the fuses, Salvage really, and then the reactor. Registered. I think we're done. Account ECU, credit. obviously. Uh, over here. Go right past him. Oh! Warning. Electrical damage. My mind was, so, was somewhere else, and I just I wasn't even painted to the light. I just... Oh, that doesn't come off. Yeah, pictures of, bunny, of bunnies like cats, but yeah, definitely. I was thinking three steps ahead and completely just... From between grabbing one uh, one fuse to grabbing the next one, I 
and got the victim from the lights. I was focusing on grabbing the, uh, the the aluminum block that comes off the fuse, so I was timing the the boom boom. I was trying to trying to make it efficient. Forgot that I was supposed to actually pay attention to the rhythm here. Ah, a bad angle. Right. Uh. I'll be amazed if this thing just comes off. Honestly. Oh, it's going. Come on. You can do it. Don't break that tether. Just give us a little blue. Just a little blue. Oh, there was, oh, there was a little blue right there. That reset the timer on it. Come on. No break. I know it. That's all right. You get a second tether. This is this is a glorious thing. It gives me tethers that you need. We've never had a, a triple housing. This is our first. That's so good. So good. I love it. All right. Let it do its thing. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. You know, I've debated uh, whether or not, like, if we were to break the canister on purpose and then send it into the furnace because it's now a scrap item, if we'd get more, like, we don't get anything for consuming it. Um, I don't think we get anything for sending a, a... Yeah, see, it, it, well, I mean, it gives 100 for scrap, I guess. Um... See, we got 488 for the thruster scrap. That, that was that was an already broken one. I wonder if we had broken the oxygen, uh, if it had, it would have given us more money. Then it would have properly been scrapped at that point. I love just taking the corners of these rooms off. This is so cool. Still going? You're still going. All right. Mosey along. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Will be paid. 14 tons for each of the three housings. Um, yes. Fourteen seven. Always keep a calculator in front of you, especially if you're a content creator and you have to do math on camera. The 2184 kilograms for the... No, that's not right. No, I, I think that's the, that's the combined of all of the... 264 times 3 and then the 21... You know, you know 6,000. That's got to be it. No, I have no idea. I have no idea. The math just doesn't work. Oh, there's 82. Okay, so there's a bunch of different parts we'd have to. So, no. 14 is the, the full group. And, uh, we'd have to sum up all these little parts.
I pay so little attention to that stat that, you know, on, when I have to answer the question, I'm, I'm never sure which, which number is the total and which one's the individual. Processing object. Applying credits to account. You know, it gets that point where you've played something enough that you no longer see the math behind some things. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage goal achieved. Why have I not pulled all this stuff allocated. down? Oh, right, because we were running out of time and I wanted it. Oh, that's all attached. All right. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. We, we stopped working on this room because we needed to start prepping the back end. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Familiarity breeds contempt. I, I mean, I don't think so in this case. Uh, familiarity breeds uh, complacency. Which in relationships then breeds contempt. <laughs> Salvage destroyed. Please pay attention. And pay attention, to lady. Of all the bug reports that I submitted during early testing or late testing, because that that was added late, that was the one bug report that I was annoyed that they didn't do. Didn't, didn't do something about it was her her chastising the player for cutting that specific pipe because that is a required cut you have to cut that pipe five minutes left to get your work done okay cutter and uh I don't mind her. I don't mind it so much that she complains unless she does it, but uh, it's going to make new players feel like they've done something wrong when they haven't, and that's bad. The flying disc. Tether it. Valuable and we gotta put this bad boy in half. I kind of feel like bisecting it long ways, but I don't think that's the. I think we lose more material doing Salvage that. Secured. Applying credit. Uh, we do have one nice continuous seam here, though. Nope. This might leave too much weight on the front half. But we'll, we'll test and see. Do not melt the whole thing. Thank you. Salvage it destroyed. Don't do that. Do it if I want to. You're not the boss of me. Actually, she might actually be. Isn't it already possible that she is the boss of me? She just said, you're not my mother. My mother's not the boss of me either, so... Gonna move. Oh, it's moving, but ever so slowly. It's not. It's not gonna get in in two minutes. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Now we are cutters. Let's cut. What? No, no. You're not supposed to come out like that. Oh, 
this is not gonna be clean. Not that any of this is clean. Nothing about what I'm doing right now is clean. And it's still attached somewhere. Pulling those shenanigans, I don't think uh, were sufficient. Good grief. Okay, they are separated now. I don't think that they're going to get in there in a minute. I do not want to have to have a sixth shift. You really haven't gotten in there yet. Shift's almost done, Cutter. One minute left. I mean, I, I know it's heavy. You're getting ridiculous. There's, you know, there's no way we get this in a time. Oh, they're with the radiation houses, finally. <laughs> go, 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 don't collide, don't collide. Material 13 seconds, go. Uh. <laughs> There's not enough material. 330,000 destroyed, 378,000 left. Oh man. Yeah, so close. So there's, there's, there's roughly 300,000 left. What's, what's our shift cost? Like 85,000, something like that? Good morning, ship breaker. Yeah, 85,000. You know what, we'll poke our head message. in. We'll, uh, Cutter 52 happiness. will get a day off. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. We don't leave stuff behind. You know the philosophy here. Come on now. Raw material deposited. That. Cross your cat. What is it? What? I walked you back in. There's a lot of gray. That thruster, there's no way that thruster cap accounts for that. Uh, maybe there is a way. That was 250,000 just for that cap. I knew there couldn't be 300,000 worth of aluminum from that remaining little piece that hadn't gotten in. It's work, it's, it's, uh, it's work ethic. You know, you do a full job. Any, worth do any job worth doing is worth doing right. Ninety-nine. We got an extra nine percent out of that. That's that's better. You know, I forgot I wanted to make cookies before uh, the stream. I'm I'm I'm, I'm in a snack mood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ate a sandwich. I actually ate a sandwich before stream today, so. Uh, a little hungry, though. Wasn't enough. Good 
morning cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report. All right. Clear and sunny. With a high of Either an atlas or a macro. You gotta shift between uh, large to small. Like cargo macro? I bet that's really full of stuff too, being this high on the rank. Yeah, that's it. We don't have to. We don't have to revisit our our Exo Lab uh, strategy. It worked. Worked out pretty well. I mean, even with the nice new strategy for Exo Labs, we can only take so much Exo Lab. Stuff on the outside of this ship. Registered. Transferring credit. Mm. Patch. Booky bit coming off the back. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I think I did a video where I just speed ran one of the mackerels. Um, you know, back in the day when we didn't have working regulars anyway, I just just flew up and just burned this straight off and just left. <laughs> uh, still got the mini me out of it. Not sure that I succeeded not in the first try. You know, back in the day when. We're gonna have to do a, a, a explosive decompression anyway. So it was never a good idea to decompress upwards because even if you didn't break anything, everything flew out into space. Oh yeah. We knew this thing would be full. I just realized there are junk bottles the back side uh, or the, the front side of the other ship that we just did that I don't remember ever sending in. I didn't see them when we were Man, this is packed. Another unclaimed data drive. Phono text reading. Message ID 191187. Hi, I'm calling regarding our dog Franny. Um, I have some bad news. I don't know how to say this. I'm really sorry, but I don't think we can come back to get Franny. We only just got to Mars with our daughter Olivia and they told us that they won't allow a dog in. We didn't know. We tried to talk to them. We really did but they wouldn't budge. It's a really tough decision but it's just that we have Olivia in our lives now and we moved to Mars for a future for her. This is our only hope. We sold everything we owned to buy our railgate tickets and went through all the medical tests which are as invasive as everyone says they are. And then there's the interviews. So many interviews. I mean, we've waited for this for six years. I promise, we tried to fight this, but they just kept saying how expensive dogs are and how they consume scarce resources. I just don't know what to say. We have to leave Franny with you. Tell her that her dads miss her and that they will always love her. Please. Take care of her. She was the best dog. The best. That's a sad log. Need to leave her doggy. Right. So this this ship also depressurized the exterior for no apparent reason. I still consider that a bug. All right, let's see if we can cut these without accidentally hitting a fuel thing or setting a crate on fire. What we want to do is still attached. Break 
making these free. And you can grab on to one of those, I guess. Well, I don't think Lynx had anything to do with leaving the doggy behind. I mean, we can we can go ahead and hate Lynx anyway, but uh, I don't think Lynx had anything to do with their moving to Mars. Ooh, crushing alert! We haven't seen one of those in ages. You would think that if you went through all the effort to to you know, go through all that testing. You know, he said that they went through all their testing and and spent all their money and and all that stuff to move to Mars. You think before they did that, they would have asked, "Hey, can we bring a dog?" How do you manage to move to Mars and not find out before you get there that they're not going to let you bring your dog? Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Can I wolf wolf travel? I mean, you'd, you'd think you'd want dogs there. Great companions. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. There's so much fuel in this boat. We're gonna have to waste Salvage some of it. secured. Account credit applied. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Tethering and stuff randomly at this point. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. I was preparing to cut the uh, exterior door out for some reason. I thought that it would be open, which is Applying credit. wouldn't be for any reason. The airlock. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I tethered that. We're at an odd number now. Salvage secured. Credit deposit. Whoop! I had to, <laughs> had to back up. I didn't want that to break our face. Ship feels like it's coming apart a little bit more smoothly than the uh, station hopper. That was mostly distractions. Still, oh, apart quite cleanly. Separate any of these? I don't think accepted. so. Credits transferred. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's these out. Forget to turn that off. Disconnect it. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Looks like that is not. Yeah. Visually, it looked like that wasn't actually up against the uh, back, but optical illusion. Not 
that's in. There you go. Processing valuable object. Two hundred fifty-seven thousand, the same as the uh, the cap for the uh, gecko. Nice surprise. I mean, they look the same, but typically the, the things on the larger ships are more valuable. You know, are considered tier two. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Versions. Things. Okay, That's what the processor it is. Five minutes left in this shift. All right. Yeah, it'd be nice to have someone other than Dee Dee talk to us. I mean, just, I mean, uh, granted, we're past the storyline. But just, you know, have Kai chime in every now and then, you know, how you doing? Or just hear Kai scream every now and then. <laughs> just, oh, 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 you know, and it just, that just in that be it. Like, no other context. We didn't have to be saying anything to us to kind of, you know, hit accidentally hit it open comms. When he when he was panicking from from something. Yeah, we have the cranky lady. He doesn't want to be the boss. Tap there. Uh, well, on this side because the airlock is on the other side. Careful, his pipes are alive. Excuse me, right through. I see a second set of thrusters on the front as we came through here. Not like we did. Saying that the DD didn't take the plastic free uh, option to her food. I, I think that probably would. Yeah, there is a second set there. That probably would make you uh, not too happy after time. You see that there is a, a recent discovery, or at least a paper released recently, about a uh, bacteria that eats plastic, has been discovered. There was a uh, type of worm that was discovered that was eating plastic like meaningfully eating plastic not you know eating it and then dying from it that its its digestive system was succeeding in uh, getting some value out of it and uh, they were able to extract bacteria from its stomach that was responsible for digesting plastic and they were able to distill it down to where it was like super, super effective. Now they just have this like, let's say a liquid, but paste or something that they can, a yeah, liquid, that they can just they can just dip plastic into, and it eats the plastic, and breaks it down into into uh, molecules that can actually be used for other purposes. So it's a, it's a proper. A proper recycling. Yeah, it's a it's a really recent thing. One minute left on the clock, Cutter. One minute. It said they can make vanilla ice cream out of it, out of the byproducts. Because it's it's uh, chemically the same as the the credit applied. Um, the main ingredient in vanilla. Oh, 
Okay, furnace on a barge item. That's annoying. Anything near the side of this. So we're gonna lose one or the other here. Eighty-one thousand or twenty-one thousand. <clears throat> So that's the reason you want the foil chip back, so if there was a bacteria that was eating plastic ba packages. Yeah, I hadn't heard that. I mean, this is, I mean, this is a, I mean, obviously getting to scale is a thing, but, but, um, it's a pretty big deal. I, I guess the, they managed to distill the, the bacteria down and, and genetically refine it to the point to where it's in, like an ultra hyperdrive now, or it's just a plastic eating machine. And they don't need to cultivate the worms because it's the bacteria that they're after. Cutter 9346-52. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. It was sounded like a pretty good breakthrough. Tether supplies running low. See, tether supplies running low. That is normal English. And I knew there was a running low statement that earlier. Credits transferred. The problem I have with the supplies dropping is that it sounds like an ongoing thing. leaking. All right, so we, we're going to lose the mounting plate because it's worth 21,000 versus 81,000 for the elevator filter. Apparently it's going to move the entire ship just trying to take it out to the... What are you stuck on? You're stuck on this. So we're going to lose... About 7,000 more in aluminum. Oh, wait, please. Just want to get this little bar right. Here, not the one above it. Oh, nice. The at least that aluminum bar came off of it. But we're gonna try. Well, this is not going to work because I know how the game works. We're gonna try to take us to the barge and then cut it out. But the uh, air filter should be indestructible. I think uh, because it's a barge item. Ooh. Yeah. We might be able to, like, get some of this off, maybe. We won't get a full value out of it because we can't cut it clean. That's what I was afraid of. These are 116 apiece. We are not going to take the time to... Yeah. Moving on. Deposit accepted. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. We're this whole cutting thing again. <laughs> Because this is going to be stuck, not, we're not going to bother doing that. 
We're gonna have to do a long cut anyway because the bar above and below is in the holding place. So melting this off wouldn't help. not a clean cut and I knew it wasn't gonna be. I, didn't want, I wanted to get it before it got too far away and I was gonna have to start chasing it all over the place. Time. Raw material accepted. Think. Let me through. Sure, I've mentioned before that I am claustrophobic. This does not make me happy. Oh, all right, there we go. Valuable object accepted for processing. All right, let's uh, let's get this pulled away. Worry about the other stuff. Just a little breathing room. Uh, we can't pull it away because we gotta get this cut out. Secured. Account credit applied. Get, get through here again. See, I should have flown out through the nacelle hole. Why you no move? Don't make me fight through. Oh, I did all the way at the back. Problem child. Oh yeah, then I missed. done anymore. If we did, then it's too late to do anything about it. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. One tether left. Caution. Tethers depleted. Probably should have booped that in and, and tethered the... Uh, Wildly overweighted fuel canister instead. Still clinging to the hope of getting this done this shift. But we have the whole cockpit to do still. Oh, money's back. Okay, different bunny. I'm like a little smaller. Salvage 
deposit secured. Credits awarded. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. On the other side of this. Get out of the way. That's free to go. Uh, got to cut Object these object. off. Don't, don't follow with it. Come on. Stop. Transferring credits. These are processor. Uh, I'm taking the time to get an angle. It's. Forces and get it out quicker. Oh no 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 no! Where are you where are you going? Where? Five minutes left in the shift. Cut it, okay? Okay. Okay. That's my favorite one. Okay. 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 <laughs> This out of the way. Where'd the other pipe go? Other pipe, there you are. Looks like the uh, the the tanks from Tron. Material accepted. <clears throat> transferred. That's the wall with all the Fuel on it. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh, yeah, this is safe. How close can they force us to be next to those pipes while we're cutting? Canisters. We're not finishing this shit. I'm, I'm wildly... Uh, Aware of how close I am to those computer terminals, why I'm hesitating to pull the trigger here. Wait for it to move forward a little bit more so I can move forward a little bit more. Those were pretty good cuts. Oh! No, no, no! Where are you going?
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Go, 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 go. I mean, back of the head. Account credited. One minute left to finish things up, Cutter. Oh, did that grab the wall? It grabbed the wall, didn't it? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Gray. Ooh. <sighs> Feels good to get back in the zone every now and then. <laughs> Crank it out. Uh, 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 come back out and hang out with us. When we stream again. Either either anything else. I seriously need to get back into satisfactory. I need to finish that series. So much I still want to do in it. Good morning, shipbreaker. Links would like to share the following message. The only piece I'm surprised if anybody actually at this point. Yeah, you, and you miss, you miss uh, a regular scheduled, you know, scheduled uh, release time when you've got, when you are on a regular schedule like I have been. And uh, people forget about you pretty fast. <laughs> and uh, it's been a few months, so... I really need to get back into it. Heavy cargo. I feel like heavy cargo. I think last time we did the uh, the fuel one. I'm good to do the heavy cargo, and it's high up in here, which means there's going to be as much stuff as possible. We really need to... I, I kind of want to work on... On figuring out how to crack the uh, the center open in a first shift situation, but I don't I don't see that ever being more valuable than getting the reactor. Think about this. We have to spend enough time getting all of the uh, pieces on the outside turned in all the crates so we can't skip that because there even if we try to do the interior those have to be out of the way i think that also means we have to get the uh shielding plates because they are connecting and the react the reactor itself is non-negotiable because it's the most valuable thing in the entire ship we could potentially uh Ignore the back end, you know, because we, we, we tether the back end away and then and then um, send the reactor in, and then we pull, try to get the, react, the, the back end into the processor, which is a long pull. It's good value, and it's not really that much effort, but it's still something we have to kind of pay attention to. And it's, if that's something that we just let it sit in the back and then came straight to the front as soon as we pull the reactor, maybe you'd have some time, but we don't have 
we don't have a solid strategy for how to dismantle that yet. We'll play it by ear. I, I would like to do that though. We'll, we'll, we'll do the cargo exterior and the bottom plates because that bottom part has to drop out. Um, we'll leave the side and top plates. Pull the back off. Of course, we have to do the fuel on the way there because that's in the way. Pull the back off, get the reactor. See how much time we have left. Whether or not we can try to uh, investigate going on the inside. Assuming that the inside is that configuration, right? Um, has to go. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. To just the bottom for now because we need to be able to cancel tethers. So let's try to get all the bottom ones on the barge. And then uh, make cut. Yeah, we won't do the top row yet. While we're waiting for all these to get on the barge, we'll, we'll cut the bottom plates out. Then we can cancel tethers and do the top row. Credit. And while the top row is resolving, we'll be on to doing the fuel. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Strictly speaking, I don't think these are blocking us from opening up the bottom panel. Secured. But it would Credit keep us from deposit. sending the bottom panel in, and if there, it's in the way, we're going to want to send it anyway. Okay. Uh, is everybody in? Right in. Cancel the tethers. Twenty tethers left. We're going to have some left over. Yes, we are. I kind of don't want there to be leftovers. I'm getting a little sloppy here with the flight. I need to stabilize myself a little bit and get my aim better. See a red tail. Well, it went back to blue and then back to red. Uh, nine tethers will do for now. Account credited. Oh, pull. Thank you. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Switch. We'll switch. Airlock depressurizing. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Salvage goal met. I don't think we st strictly have to do these, but these are the higher value. These are definitely higher value. It's 200,000 a piece. Secured. Account credit applied. 
Another... I think we're going to have just enough tethers. Credits awarded. All right, a hole. Because we're not going to pull the, the... We're not going to send the uh, thing to the end. Uh, 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 regulator, regulator, regulator! Broken! Okay. Um, close. Airlock depressurizing. This is going to be ugly. This is the worst case scenario. Because of the stupid door that will reopen it. Uh, that will close itself and we'll have to cut our way out again. Not a good idea. Get that through first. Let the, let the opening open up just a little bit more. We don't need a reacting reactor to start bouncing around like a pinball. The last feather will be pulling this wall away. It means we won't have tethers to push the piping into the processor. We won't need a tether for the ECU itself, where the money is. Or we can be cheeky. Try to make that work. No tethers. Please refill supplies. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I don't like the background. I'd hit the airlock. Woo! Salvage destroyed. Please refrain from damaging salvage. Stuff it, lady. Alright. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. I think we need to go in through the other side because I think there's another airlock between us and the cargo area and we take time. Oh, 200,000 on these. I have to get these. Aluminum pen. What? What do we lose? Oh, 
about an aluminum panel. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Nope. Okay. No, I really don't. Airlock console lost. What? Something's going in somewhere that doesn't belong. So we didn't send any rooms. Did my airlock console miss the barge? We didn't send any rooms into a, into a furnace or processor, so nothing... Nothing the console should be attached to should be going in anywhere. I'm guessing that that airlock console I took off the top missed the barge. I knew I, I fired it kind of... Airlock. Kind of willy-nilly. It didn't feel good when I fired it. Oh no! We don't have the new interior! Ah, uh, the whole experiment's ruined. Airlock depressurizing. There's nothing we can get a value out of that. Oh well. Deposit accepted for prompt. Knew that was a possibility. That missed it, didn't it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Try to pull the furnace into the end of the processor. Regulator. Or he says yes. All right. Air pressure level increasing. I wonder if I'll start a massive fire by using that cutter while it's still an oxygen oxygenated room. Raw material processing. Credits deposited. Lost another console. What is going on here? What? What is happening? Processing object. Applying credits to account. Where are these airlock consoles going and coming from? Losing the light doesn't surprise me. I, I figured there'd probably be a light or two on the on the nanocarbon that we sent in. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Really close that door. It didn't. I'm gonna have to come right, in here and cutter. Time to wrap it up, okay? Open it back One up. Minute left. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Get 
this in time without cutting up the back wall. We lost two airlock cons. I have no idea where either of those airlock consoles went. I mean, the f first one I threw, I didn't verify made it to the barge, and I felt weird about it when I fired. I can't remember what the angle was, but I know that I didn't feel good about it. And it went in the back of my head that maybe I should be paying attention to where it was going, but I didn't have time. I have to rewatch the replay to figure out what that was. That second one, I have no idea. Like, we weren't... We didn't send any rooms or anything to anywhere in that, you know, anything that would have an airlock console attached to it. Nothing got sent anywhere. All airlock consoles got pointed down to the barge. I did bang some up. Yes, yeah, I did. As I said, I didn't feel good about a couple of them, but they didn't break at the moment that I fired them. But I think that might be that they, they may have ricocheted off of something and went out into space. That's probably what happened. Which would explain the delayed message because it doesn't credit the loss until it goes way out. I was in such a hurry to try to get morning, back to the Frazier. front and, and test out high. a new strategy that we couldn't even test out because we didn't have that type shift. of ship. <laughs> we didn't get the right variant. I mean, 16 million, not bad, but we would normally be in the 18 million, 17 to 18 million range. 19 if we were on the on the uh, fuel tanker. Because of the uh, ion rings around them. And if I were really serious about it, I, you know, first of all, I would have gotten new tethers before I went in because I knew I was low on them. Um, and also, I wouldn't take time to put lights on with things because the lights are not. But we're still always going for the, the whole buffalo, right? The, it's the big picture. I'll never feel comfortable in cutting this. Stop melting the entire stupid beam. There is an airlock on the bottom of that. Our air filter. The airlock is right in front of us. Hopefully closed or open. Yes. <laughs> Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I say, I even if we'd had. I don't think that's viable for that to become a type of value. The usual method. But that's what testing's about. We have discovered many a thing that we did not expect along the way, doing uh, alternate strategies, alternate challenges. It's always a good Credit thing to do in games, especially ones that you have played a lot, just to create challenges for yourself. Uh, even if there are extreme challenges. Because you can be surprised about the strategy. 
an aspect about what you had to do to accomplish a challenge results in a, a strategy or something. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Make sure we got all of the, the not destroyed consoles. All right. Last thing we need to do is send that in there and get another message of losing another console. All right, here comes the worst part of the entire ship. Oh. We have had this thing blow up on us, even though we had a clean shot. It has happened. Like this angle right here feels like it's gonna blow up because it's coming from the right. Alright, uh I'm to put high explosives all around the fuel tank. What could go wrong? You know, we don't even have the disarm ability. Never bought it. Sure, I never bought it. No, oh, maybe we did buy it. I know we've never used it. I think it can go off on accident. I think we bought it just because we just had the points to spend. Iron hole. To bust this cage open because it's the only way we get that out. Been getting the itch lately to uh, to dust off um, to see if they've ever added any objective to the game. Back when I played, I, I don't remember if it was still early access when I played it, but Salvage secured. Credit I had so much fun building working spaceship. Flying around and mining asteroids, but it was just there's just no point to it because there's nothing in the game after you're off the planet. <laughs> like if there was a space engineer engineer's MMO, I 
I'd, I'd so be all over it. Fly around and collect up resources and take them to pe player player star bases. Sell them. Uh, let's just um, let's take the whole thing and uh, sort it out as it comes up the part here. We don't always cut that out. I mean, sometimes we just actually. Types the hard way. I didn't feel like doing it this time. My, my voice is uh, dropping in and out. Is anybody else. Uh, possible. We have had audio problems in the past. Give me a second here. At least this time I remembered to uh, to, to mute it before I did that. <laughs> uh, hopefully the, the, the audio is better. Or more reliable. <laughs> uh, do let me know if there's any problem with it. I, I don't have my earphones since the machine is dismantled and there's things not plugged in. Amongst them is, uh, is the uh, earplug that I can use to hear my own audio. Can't actually check it right now. All right. Let's see if we have a working regulator. Uh, we do not. This is a long cavern. This might have two of them. Oh, this is open to the exterior. Interesting. Hey, Cutter. Five minutes left in this shift. Yeah, we do have two of them. All right. But the other one's broken. There's a working one in here. We have removed all of the door handles, so we need to... Open one of these to the exterior. This one. We won't be able to get back in. <laughs> there we go. Airlock depressurizing. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go in there and do this from the other side. Reverse the polarity. So I was thinking about the airlocks because in uh, Space Engineers, there you can uh, there's some very powerful tools within it that that allow for the modding community to do some really cool stuff. And there are uh, mods that add scripting to object active properties that you can interact with. I remember going in and out of the ship and having, you know, making an airlock. Material accepted. The automation update made that even easier. I, 
I genuinely love, would love to have a good excuse to play. Good engine. Account credited. But you know, and I, whenever I've seen like videos on it, it's always big PvP battles, uh, which look like a lot of fun. Like they, you know, they people just make their ships and then. But uh, it's not. A, that's you know, that's a, a go into creative mode and everyone design their own ship and then run them into each other. Oh, they broke. Oh, one time that I don't give them the 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 spin. And they actually collide hard enough to break. I always talk about making sure you rotate them as you go. And I, Material deposited. I get complacent. Applied. Silly mistakes in the ship. All right, not careful. I'm going to cost us the uh, mini me. Have a look at. at Splitsy salvage mod. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit I'll have to do that. And I've seen, I've seen some mods that have, and they were kind of crude back in the day. Uh, that there were mods that added like traders, like space traders, and I could never really get their interface to work quite right. The but ultimately, there was just no point You've in it anyway. See, they bounced, but they didn't destroy each other because I didn't fire them as hard. I also didn't give them the spin that I'm supposed to. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I'm surprised we didn't get depressurization sound just then when we cut that away. Normally, we. Well, normally the door's closed, that's why. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Doing just hanging out there. Come on, end of shift, give us credit. Get in there. No mining and minimal uh, assembler functionality. You have to salvage everything. Oh my goodness, that! But the, the crafting is such a. I, I like setting up the automation. I mean that. I I see the appeal in that. Uh, trying to build a functional ship out of finding and salvaging would definitely be an interesting challenge. Like when I, last time I played it. I had a giant space train, and it was just so cool. That's a bad side. That was an ant. That was a scout. See any other ants? He just went on a trip somewhere. <clears throat> Morning, we'll, uh, we'll leave the it's sugary drink sitting on a island over there. So, in case there's another buddy of his running around, he won't discover the Pepsi. It's been raining real hard the past week or two, so uh, driving insects indoors uh, is a thing. But it doesn't surprise me to see a stray ant. Looking for looking for uh, food somewhere other than outside. Oh, didn't I feel like I saw fuel inside? But not the kind of ship that would normally have fuel. Uh, anyway, I was saying that I just yeah I had this massive space train. It's just. It's multiple individual cars that are all resource processing cars and storage. Uh, and the whole thing is set up to a very complex encrypted network of uh, pipes. 
um, with, with with double doors between the cars. So you go out into space and walk across the little walkway, and then open the car door to go into the next into the next one, like you're on a, like on a, on a train. I was really proud of that. Airlock pressurizing. Again, the locomotive, is, it was the front car, and then there was a flatbed car behind it that had, uh, uh, on the top of it, it had a docking bay for a, a landing pad for a, uh, a mining vessel. And then on the bottom of it, it had a docking bay for a planetary uh, descent vessel. Once I got, you know, obviously, once I got that space train off of the ground, off the starting planet, there was... It would. It couldn't. It, there was no way it could survive in an atmosphere, because <laughs> you know you, you build it as you go. The the skeleton of it uh, off the ground, just to get it into space, and then it, immediately after that, it's the thrusters on it could not have supported it in the atmosphere. Helmet damage. We sucked out of the hole. I was trying to hold on to the door so it wouldn't go flying away, and I got flown away instead. Probably would have helped if I grabbed the wall. <laughs> mm, there should be one more piece of door. Could still be inside. I don't see it inside. Might be that thing all the way up there. It is. There it is. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. I've seen some, also some interesting videos. Uh, you know, like challenge maps on surfers that were pretty neat designs. I think it was like people, you know, a bunch of players started a, a pre-made underground base. And then there, eventually there would be attackers or something that would come in and they had to, you know, do mining and, and shore up the base, do trading, stuff like that. It looked pretty neat, but those were, those were all meant to be short-term. Airlock depressurizing. Thing, not long-term goals, you know, it's like a challenge map. Um, we're going to have to go through this again. That was a very unpleasant sound. <laughs> it sounded like the ship was coming apart. <laughs> You guys would stop closing all the doors and just let things depressurize, and we wouldn't have to keep going through this. All right. Is anything? <laughs> oh goodness, we still have another repressurized here. Get <laughs> the next. That means there is a sealed segment between these two. Then. All right, I think we're good. Now there is, that's the, that's the completely sealed compartment that we cannot get into without depressurizing. Airlock depressurizing. Uh, by force. I think the way we came up with, we came up with a, a method. I think it was uh, relying on this aluminum panel shearing it off 
think. <laughs> we're going to find out, because that's what we're going to do. Pull out any sides. This was my back turn, because then you'll hit me in the back of the head. Raw material processed. Yeah, that worked out. I mean, we get a little bit of bad angle, but you know, it is what it is. It's unlikely we can we can get into this. It's probably going to vaporize it. Oh, it actually came off. That's odd. I'll take it. All right, definitely depressurized. Yes. wonder if I could... No. Think about whether or not keeping it connected, but it would be connected to that back wall, not to the other panel. Which means we would not be able to pull this out. That is not an issue. Salvage not a, an option. Transferring credits. What am I missing? That's what I'm missing. I thought I had only cut three of them. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Getting mosey Salvage along there, buddy. Secured. Credits awarded. Was a little faster. Get. Have that. All right. Now we gotta go inside. Deposit registered. Account credited. Uh, typically we cut three panels. One, two, one, two, three. This time it is field. But we're going to cut here. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Shot. Remember that we have a console on the top of the interior. Carry on. You're connected to the exterior on the bottom, aren't you? Of course you are. Yep. Oh, forgot that that was a... The, it's the titanium panels that can be cut. Don't be in a hurry to get out of here. It couldn't be anything else. Five minutes left, cut it, okay? Oh, Dee I'm a little busy here. Not like my... There it is. <laughs> okay, goodness, it's not that heavy. Being a drama queen now.
disconnecting everything while we're waiting for it to decide to move. Oh, we got a big old heavy uh, radiation housing outside of it, too. Did you break the tether already? Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right, we don't get all night. Oh, oh, oh! How that didn't cause radiation, I am not sure. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. What else has been left out here? Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Mm, where is it? Deposited. There Applying it is. Applying credit to account. Uh, thruster fuel. Lost Salvage some free, free fuel. Credits awarded. Must have been on the back of the uh, housing. I should have checked. <laughs> I thought we had pulled everything off when we prepped, or we're waiting for it to, you know, open up. Apparently not. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Oh, he Account is moving. We're going to check for other stuff. This. This. Salvage secure. Not much time left, Cutter. One minute to go. So that is it for this block. On the outside, no fuses or anything. It does not appear to. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Oh, skip. Such a pain to grab one of these ladders. That we're gonna deal with next time because it's attached all the way to the back, probably because it's a two piece cylinder because of the uh, titanium panels. Only four million. That's a letdown coming from a 15 million uh, earlier shift. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call.
might be able to wrap it up in this shift. Where am I left to go? Mostly the intricate hard stuff is done. In these rooms cleared out. Uh, ah. Let's cancel the tether. I don't want that to go sideways. I pull it out straight. In there. I'm not giving you another tether. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was the bad angle for it. What did you run into? There was literally nothing there. Salvage goal cleared. Rewards allocated. Drag it by the toe. Break this up right here, which means we need to deal with the fuses and make sure that any door we want to open is already open. So let's first make sure there's nothing that we need to interact with. Nope, nope, nope. I think that's it. I'd like to get this off just for easy in and out access from the front. Over here. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Space Frisbee. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. I mean, you never know if there was, you know, Frisbee in space and there was no longer air resistance that that might be the technique that they would throw Frisbees around. <clears throat> end over end. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. This isn't what we need to be doing right now, but we're here, so we're doing it. Uh, that doesn't cut. That doesn't cut. Okay. Salvage Let's get on my way. In fact, I should not be cutting all this free yet. I think we're going to leave the top oh, kind of good. Get this annoying ladder out of my way, too. All right, fuses. That's what we're after, fuses. <laughs> Ready to get the ladder out of my way? <laughs> Lies in the in way. It's like, oh, yeah? I'll show you. All right, this time we're not going to forget that the lights. Oh, I missed the click. What? Ah, uh, not working. Oh no! We have disconnected something that's not allowing these to work. Oh no! We have to get shocked. Why? Have I pulled any purple cubes? I don't think we have. We still have the power generator. That's what's supposed to be the thing. The 
power is all of this? Oh, okay, we were just bugged. Our interface was bugged. We had to switch tools and come back. I forgot that was a bug. My my old tester brain kicked in there and said, "Wait a minute. What if?" That could have gotten ugly. Okay. Anything in the way? Negative. That more free fuel, that's good to know. Still managing to get in my way. You're getting escorted out. Your service is no longer needed. Uh, before we move this, let's get this bad boy taken care of. We're prepared because we, we gotta get to the other side of that. I'd rather just pull the whole thing out. I don't want to have. Oh, why are you still there? I tell you to. Deposit accepted for processor. Have the processor. All right, um, we need you to go further in because we are going to have to cancel a tether in a moment. I'm going to move on. While we wait, let's just take this out. Sphere. Are you... You're not gonna come out. Let's pre-tether this thing, because we're gonna have to go on the inside, so we might as well cut that free while we're in there. If we could see the Beam. Cannot. Ah. Well, this is going to need to get cut anyway, so maybe this gives us visibility, but this has got another housing on it. I cannot see it. What's holding you in place? More of these. Oh! That shouldn't... It isn't, but this is. We'll just get both in the same shot. Answers that we still have no idea how they managed to install because they can't physically fit in here. Yeah. 
Five minutes left, there we go. Cutter. Get the angle of the you know what you're doing? From inside. Okay. Take it away. Take it. Oh, I didn't like the cut for this. There we go. We don't need it pulling the entire segment sideways. We need it to come out straight. Air filter we're gonna get to. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, mister. Material deposited. Account credit applied. Like using a high powered plasma cutter on a moving target. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. Raw material accepted. We want to know what that thing is that was in the little bio container. Additional rewards assigned. Secured. Unusual situation where we can actually just leave the table attached. Normally we remove it because it typically has that uh, whole batch of terminals on it that we want to keep in one piece. Expect something to be in my way. Where it's been? It is. Oh, I was getting ready to say I shouldn't do this because the storage bin might get in my way. And I pulled the trigger and it happened before I could even say the words. I knew that that could energetically leap off at me like that. Was it cautious? Valuable object accepted for processing. And in a hurry, getting sloppy. It's been a sloppy ship. Oh, I was just about to send that into the processor. It's the housing that goes in, not salvage deposit accepted. Not the filter. Right. Suit lights. Talking about my headlamp. Oh, I forgot. I turned them off for the. Uh, thanks for reminding me. I turned them off for the. Uh, Watching the lights on the on the fuses make it you know easier to see when they're out. I forgot to turn back on. Appreciate that. You're detached. Supposed to be. Ship's almost done, Cutter. One minute left. Yeah, I didn't think we'd get it done this shift. Not a whole lot to do next shift. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. We got another airlock to get our way through, so a little pain. easily get it done in the next shift. We're going to take a moment to go over this, Processing make sure that there's nothing deposit. we need to take out of it. We'll tether it at a very awkward angle. 
send it into the furnace. 1.4 million uh, percent destroyed. We're, we're closing in on the the, uh, the old mini me threshold, which I think they should have kept. But I understand they're making it easier for the people. Morning cutter 9346-52. Can't complain too much. We have like we have a number of mini me's we wouldn't have message. otherwise. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. We have benefited from the change. Alright, knock this out. Fuel levels are critical. Fuel, you say? Maybe we can find ourselves some fuel. Cool. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. We grab these. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credits. Registered. Account credited. That's why the, the fourth item on our, our equipment wheel needs to be a, a, a hookup valve where we could plug into one of those and, and siphon fuel off of it. That that could be our fourth fourth one. Alright, Pete. Thanks very much for joining us. I always love seeing a new name. Uh, hopefully see you guys I see you in the future should be streaming on Sunday, so keep an eye out for it if you're interested. Will not be heart space. Salvage secured. Credits that deposited. Clear. Probably not. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. The answer is no. <laughs> Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Alright, enough of the alarm. Fuel levels restored. Hey there, liquid. Oh, it is attached. Credits transferred. I can free. Lurking there in the back as usual. Oh, all right. Well, cross and get that one. Always good to see you. You're turning the whole ship, aren't you? Yes, you are. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. All right. As long as you get going. Oh, don't break it. Yeah, the, the, the could be a, a second tier mini me. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Overachiever or something like that. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. <laughs> Friend of Hal. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Something like Hal's friendship pen. Applying credit. Trash Pro. All right, we need doo -doo -doo, airlock. Yes. Finish the airlock. We intentionally left the rest of this connected because we didn't want it going loosey goosey on us. That, okay. That. Um, what do 
da, da, da. Let's go ahead and figure this up. It's still connected on the other side because of the airlock. I like to leave it somewhat connected so we have some stability, but I think Salvage we're gonna registered. Transferring credits. Take the whole thing apart. Uh, let's just go straight for it. There's the fuses. Maybe two more of those somewhere. Oh, we didn't get credit for that in the cell on the big. How did that get away all this time without us seeing it? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You get past us. We haven't done a final inspection on that. I expected a larger chunk to, to come along. Which, in hindsight, there shouldn't have been. Caution. Out of tethers. Oh, where's the tethers dropping? No warning. Alright, where are... Should be two little cubes floating around. Hmm... There's one. Material there's accepted. One. Credits assigned. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> She heard me complaining about the, the tether dropping statement earlier, and she's like, oh yeah? Well, fine, I'll just won't talk to you at all. You can monitor your own tethers. Passive-aggressive little trollop. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day. You're like, you're a tether a surprise! Fortunately, we weren't in a critical situation, like, you know, just pulling a, t uh, a uh, reactor out of its housing. Credits deposited. Terminals Salvage inside there. Oh, we got there as an airlock. Well, we've already taken all the power away, so we cannot get the launch. Right? Shouldn't be able to activate it. Salvage secured. Okay. Applying credit. It hurts to check. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Final salvage goal reached. All rewards allocated. This man plenty of time to get the rest of this, but we need to not dilly dally. What? How'd that survive? We gotta get all those little computers out. Probably gonna have to cut the floor out, and now the cube's gonna go all crazy. 
Let's see if we can. Uh... Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Nope, don't go all Caddy Wampus on us. Alright, stop there. Stop, stop. Credit, why are you moving away? Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? That might not have been a good cut. Oh, that was all crooked too. What is up with my cutting? This doesn't come off, it's gonna be because of that corner over there. I think it's okay. that we're not looking for. Oh! Yeah. Where, where are you going? Look at that! It went... Where are you going? Even after I grabbed it to slow it down, it was still careening out of the room. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Like it had a hot date. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I'm moving. We're running out of time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a good. Good process. It's probably it's probably a conspiracy theorist. Like they don't ever want us to go in the processor because it's. There's something something shady going on there. They don't want us to know us about. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Barge in and catch with her pants down. Seeing anything else? Uh, as long as everything gets to where it's going, I think we're okay. Not much gray left, and that's a pretty big chunk there, so that probably accounts for all of it. And uh, you know, the question earlier was about whether or not you know if anything would happen if we end the session in the barge, which I said nothing will, but we will end the session in the barge. Why are you guys not on the bottom? Cutter, there's one minute left till the end of the shift. Normally things get sucked to the bottom. It's probably because they're tethered to each other. To each other. Yeah, only non-tethered, only tethered objects are not on the bottom. Let's break the tether. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. 
I think we got it all. We'll ride to the we'll ride to the, the barge processing facility. Like a prisoner trying to escape in the on the laundry truck. Yeah, I, I I know I've seen that before, but if if I had been asked, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have said that would happen with the the tethers on the barge. It's been so infrequent that you, you know that we're actually on the barge to see it. Oh. Uh, that's, it wouldn't have been something I recalled off the top of my head without seeing it and going, oh, yeah. 98.4% uh, was a really generous percentage given how many things went wrong on that ship. Nothing went catastrophically wrong, but, you know, we lost a couple of door consoles mysteriously in the first shift, which I'm pretty sure it went out into deep space. Just bounced funny. And, uh,. There's a few other things that we cut that bin in half. We had the we had the two terminals that bounced into each other and actually managed to break each other. This is something we haven't seen in a very long Good time. Morning, ship breaker. Since the 1.0 made them so resilient. Saw them coming like, oh that's gonna and they hit and like ah. Uh, they had a lot of force in them. I think we need to do a repair. I noticed my thrusters were not uh, being very responsive. Having a lot of trouble getting around. Yep, thrusters, 33%. I think it's time to repair them. Spare repair kit. Wish we all make some money on the side in like a little black market selling, uh, selling repair kits. Selling them on, on Craigslist. <laughs> All right, uh, we are due for an Atlas. Nomad cargo. That's the middle grade one. Yeah, let's do it. Do a ghost. The ghost uh, Atlas. I figured I got, got a little twitchy and accepted it at high speed, so I think we are definitely, we're definitely doing this ship. Yeah, selling our armadillo parts. Yeah, you would, you would think we'd have a, a healthy market of that because we have so many uh, spares. This is a cool looking atlas. Look at all this stuff on it. It feels like more than usual. Nice, nice random positioning. Like they were in the process of being used. That's processor with the, the base is the processor piece. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it is a cool arm. I, I like that. Now we haven't looked for any AI things yet, but we've getting we've gotten credit for everything we've sent on the barge, so we know they don't have any uh, things on it. We would not get credit. I was kind of disappointed they didn't flush out the whole AI storyline. You know, like have a, a boss ship that we needed to... Like a, just a super rare boss ship that we had to dismantle that was actively, you know, controlled or had, had a larger AI unit on it. Something, you know? I mean... I can appreciate them not making a custom ship for it, 
because of how much you know work it went into just making these ships to begin with. You wouldn't want to make a one-off ship. Uh, but there could have been there could have been a unique item on it that was a the AI god, you know, the mainframe or something like that. And it, it, you'd only it'd only encounter it once ever. It, it'd be a story thing. Yeah, the god shit, the, the origin, the father, exactly. Oh, look at there. I wonder if I can actually collect this. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate for you, buddy. Here, we're just gonna, we're gonna... Here, you wanna stick to a surface? Here's a surface you can stick to. Just, just, uh... There you go. Right there. No, no, no. Stick to the surface. There you go. Just like that. We'll just, uh, we'll just leave you there. It's your new, your new, your new home. With lots of light. Hey, you think you could peel them off of everything else like that? I'm not sure I've ever seen I've ever seen one on a uh, on a small canister. I may have, like maybe inside of a uh, ECU. He's still. Okay, a little close. Great, go. Take that wall right there. What is it with the furnace? You really will suck down anything that gets within a hundred yards of you, but you won't. Hundred thousand for that. Holy cow. Can't take a shovelboard puck. <laughs> you We get a hundred thousand for sending that into the furnace, which is, I, I don't remember getting money for, like vaporizing them. So, that's interesting. That was a lot of money for that. Because we don't, we normally don't have the luxury of putting them in the furnace. They're usually stuck to something that you have to cut them off of. But that, that's making me think. You know, what if the thing that they're on is worth less than a hundred thousand? Because I, I have, I have my doubts that they count towards the percentage of salvaging the ship itself. But if they have that kind of value, oh hello there. Oh hello there. You're on something that can't be destroyed. That's unfortunate for you. You know, like, would we get more money? All over the place. Would, you know, would we get more money for throwing something that they're on into the f furnace? But, you know, at the same time, would we lose percentage? Because I don't think that they count towards 
salvage. Oh, my head. Alright, make sure I hit one on the outside of that. There's not. Hello there. Yep, we got a hundred thousand for the lasering. You're right. All right. You missed a you missed a zero there between the one and the five. Yeah, I. I never noticed that they had a value to them. I always just burn them off and go, you know? That's uh, interesting to me. Hmm. I know better than to grab this from the middle because it'll... haunt itself sideways like a turd in a toilet. There we go. Seriously, every time I'm going through through that, I feel like I'm doing the uh, the bombing run on the on the Death Star. Every time I fly through there. I turn it the new entry. It's it's a it's a state it's a phrase I I think of frequently when I when it gets lodged, but I don't, I don't think I've ever actually. Articulated it on on uh, on camera. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, did not act. That was good. Goodness, look at how many of these Five are. Five minutes left, Cutter. All good? Good. AI node terminated. Not sure that we have four and a half minutes worth of fuel left. Maybe think it looks like fuel on the inside. Yes, we do. Right there. Where's the door? Fuel pipe, what? Did I send the fuel pipe in the wrong place? Did I send that into the processor? I bet I did, didn't I? I was so busy focused on the running out of fuel that I... I think I mindlessly sent that entire thing into the processor instead of the barge. Missed? Did I miss the barge? How could I have missed the barge? I say that, and I think I missed the barge twice in the last. I am definitely off tonight, you know? 
Oh good, another fuel thing in here. Good. This is this is not my uh, highest quality run. No, don't. We. Oh, that was that room. All right, let's get back out first. I want to finish the. Wait a minute. No door for up. That shouldn't be able to close without. Oh great! Now he's got. They've got him um, alternating on the airlock. Oh, that means he's got that pressurized. Oh, another. Oh, we got a working airlock in there anyway. But the two rooms are equalized. We can break this. Okay. They can't pressurize either of those rooms now. Man, we lost a big, look at that chunk of red. hours and about 35 something like that I need to go back and, and review what I did wrong there one minute left cutter start finishing things up I can't imagine right. I missed the entire barge of that giant thing I felt like I must have sent it to the processor I mean I imagine you guys oh you said instead you mean you sent you meant I sent it the wrong place? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thirty seconds. This is exactly the time I should be doing this. Yeah, that's what I figured. I sent it the wrong place. I got I got focused on the uh, on the fuel warning and and trying to plan out if I you know did I have enough fuel to go inside and look for the fuel canisters. I was thinking three steps ahead, and I mindlessly just sent that to the to the wrong place. I'm really bummed I didn't make my cookies. I totally was gonna my, morning, make cookies for the, 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 for the stream. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. I feel their absence. We have the large hull piece went to the furnace. I didn't. I didn't notice them. I didn't check the thing. Wow. I mean that. That doesn't surprise me, right? Because that's always been a, a, a problem, child. There was, we're supposed to be babysitting it. And I didn't babysit any of them. Like that guy right there is trying to go into the furnace right now. And if we didn't, if we didn't intervene, this would end up in the furnace because that pressure. tether would eventually break. Yeah, we're, I'm just... I'm not on it tonight. Am I distracted? What's going on? I feel like I'm not giving the usual quality performance.
All right, usually my standard. All right, I saw. Oh, okay, he's on the. Oh, he's on the inside. On the. He's on the reactor. Of course, he is. Still very much. Yeah, uh, yeah, I am a little rusty, but this is. I'm just being sloppy. It, it's clearly a distracted mental state. Oh, good, nice, nice lighting on our on our uh, stickers there. While we're watching the one frame per second of the. The depressurization. Or repressurization. But we know the other side cannot be repressurized. Because we broke the doors. So that should... Yes. Okay. Uh, we need to... Wow, there is a lot of fuel in here. Nice. Where do we want to breach? Is it? That's not a thing. There, open space. That's all we needed. And let's make sure we send these things to where they belong. That goes into the processor. No <laughs> you. Actually, make sure you're not taking anything with you. Just repressurize the airlock. We did. to be removed, right? That all belongs. Right, it's just the uh, roustabout tug that has the pushers on the front that need to be separated. And that open air over here. This out. Get it four points then, be that way. I don't know why I examined that for AI nodes when that was going to go to the place that I didn't care. You guys just have all the fun you want with that airlock. Objects, no objects. Being thorough. Take care of you because you can just ride in with that wall. Uh, here's where we're gonna start pulling things out one at a time and mantling them. We will be going after you in a moment. Take something else with it. Alright. 
Where'd your buddy go? Of course, they always... It's always jelly side down, right? I did not get both of them. <clears throat> you know, the Mythbusters did a, uh, a testing the myth um, whether or not Toast always lands butter side down. Hey, I think they built a, a, a toast dropper, <laughs> dropped it from a building over it. multiple pieces of toast from a building with butter on them to see if they. If they landed uh, uh, butter side down more often than not. All right, uh, we got the wall out of the way, right? Mm, no. Normally we. I feel fun praise it today. Yeah, I feel I'm a little. I, I, you know, I've missed you guys. It's been a while. Yeah. This feels good to be back. I might be mentally distracted and make mistakes, but I'm fully here with you guys. Thoroughly enjoying it. Nothing on any of these, right? Right. Okay. Oh, don't separate. There's so much fuel on this ship. else it needs to go. Yep, there he is. All right. Aside from the reactor, which I'm not going to send to the barge first and then cut off, uh, I think we've got all the... Ah! Seriously, I did not hit the ground that hard. I damaged my helmet by landing feet first on the barge. I was not going that fast. I came in at an angle too. You know, like I was coming in for a landing. This is literally what I was doing. Too much, too much uh, Minecraft playing. I was landing like I was on a, using an elytra. That's exactly what I was doing. <clears throat> Elytras, for those who do not play Minecraft, are uh, wings that you Five use for gliding. Left in the shift, Cutter, okay? Okay. Flying with an elytra is uh, a learned skill. <laughs> and crash really hard. Oh, that's an odd blue. Oh, we don't have the other side completely gone, do we? Nope. What do we need? We need cut this. Of 
Hopefully not setting anything on fire. Pop some more fuel canisters out. I don't even know why I grabbed that. Yes. Move the bottom so that it rotates out. A little bit more. There we go. That's a little more than needed. Not the bottom guy. I don't know why I grabbed the wrong one on that one. And I gotta wonder what's in these crates, right? I mean, like, I don't think we're just sending empty crates to the barge, you know, for resale. There's whoever works on the barge collection area, they're probably knee deep in just cool stuff that they've looted from all these unopened crates that we send them on a regular basis. I mean, they gotta be living the life. That's the job we need to have. We are suckers here. We're doing the we're doing the, the cutting work. And they're just picking all the all the stuff. You saw the, uh, the, saw the, uh, electric maneuver as well, yeah. That's what I was doing, I, I curved on my way in, too. Yeah, soft crates full of drugs. Probably are. Uh, what was the, what was the result on the Mythbusters? Um... I want to say there was a, a slight bias because of the, the the butter, you know, waiting one side of the toast. But I, I it, it might have been that they came up with that, you know, the depression of putting the butter on it actually made it that side, you know, not All right, Cutter. Time dominant, to wrap it up, okay? you know, affecting their dynamics. One I don't remember. Left. The only thing I remember from that episode. It was Carrie Byron. She was being sassy on it. She said, what was it? She said, uh, my toast always lands, but aside, uh, a little, little sassy thing. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I got a thing for Carrie Byron. She was a cutie. Great personality. Yeah, <laughs> she's a cutie, yeah, definitely. Just sparkling personality. Wow, we've already lost 3.1%. We gotta, we gotta be careful here. We, we can actually lose our mini me. You know, uh, um, um, Grant Amahara, you know, from MythBusters, he passed away. It's been a few years now. Like a brain tumor or something? I don't remember what it was. He was young. Hello, Shipbreaker 
9346-52. Links would like to share the following yeah, I did get inspirational the Pepsi. message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. I've got the, the, the real sugar Pepsi in, in the pantry, but we hadn't streamed in a while, and I was like, you know, out of tradition, we gotta, I gotta go get the, the jug. McDonald's? He had a McDonald's deal? I don't remember that. Yeah, he was, he was a cool guy. Really smart, too. He definitely had a bright future. Right, let's, uh, let's grab these. I think we only have two AI nodes left. One on the reactor and one that's on the side. I'm not. I'm not going to cut him off. He's going to. That dude's going to be here to the end. He's going to ride in with the final, the final piece of aluminum. It's going to be the fadeaway shot. Is already planned out. Okay, but <laughs> it's going right through the metal. That's the way that works. Processor, processor. That, uh, yeah, right. Put these out. Those. They have disprove a uh, Pink slime r rumor r regard to the chicken nuggets. <clears throat> I am not familiar with that. I, I do not eat McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's in many, many years. They're just a little too unhealthy for me. I'm not saying that. Well, oh, the alternatives are much healthier, but. They're just a little too processed, even for my, for my palate, from a, from a health perspective. So it's a line that I draw. <laughs> like, eh. <laughs> I draw a line somewhere, and that's where I draw it. Oh, that's processor. That's furnace. I'm gonna get that out of there. I used to, uh, you know, I, I, I'm always looking for a good deal. And uh, locally we had a place called uh, Genghis Grill, which is a franchise that's in multiple states. Uh, basically it's a stir fry, kind of a fast food stir fry place. And uh, Tuesday on Tuesdays there there was a like a take home Tuesday deal that if you ordered through the through their app on the phone you got like twenty percent off. It was a really good deal. A lot of food. Really good. And uh 
I was there every Tuesday. For a long time. Uh, until they... During the COVID lockdown, they jacked their prices through the roof. They're like, eh, it's no, you know, it was no longer, no longer a, a good deal. They stopped going and uh, still get emails from them all the time because I have an account, you know, with loyalty points and all that stuff. And uh, earlier this year, I got an email from them, you know, saying, uh, you know, it's your birthday, you know, we've given you a free medium bowl or something like that. You know, you got to redeem it by a certain date. Like, free bowl, I'll take it. And uh, I went in, I went in the app to order the bowl and it was something like, you know, your previously selected location is not valid for the deal or something like that. I, I don't remember what how I worded it. And uh, I tried to look at him online and the place, my, my location was not only not valid, it was just no longer there. <laughs> They'd closed the restaurant. I'm like, oh, well that's unfortunate. I still want my free bowl, so what's the next closest location? Next lo closest location was like Alabama. <laughs> The entire franchise left the state. And I still get emails from them going, you know, trying to get me to act on certain deals. Like, you realize that you don't even exist in my state. <laughs> okay, that's danger. That's... I really should get away from that. Is that pressurized? It's not. It's just a shame too because it, it was really good food. I mean, it's questionably health-wise. Uh, I mean, for the COVID thing, because like their gimmick was that it was it was like a like a salad bar, right? You know, where all the food's already out, and so if you went into the restaurant. You would just get a big old bowl, and you would go down, and you would build your your uh, you would build your uh, your stir fry, and then at the end, you know, you would just put the bowl on a, a sh on a counter where they where it would go to the the chefs who would you know add rice and whatever and cook the and actually cook it. So I mean, it was it was still cooked properly, but it was you know. Still, it was open air food <laughs> during the during the COVID. I was like, eh, mm. a little 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 thing to kind of get leery about. So that in the back could be cut. So we don't want to do that. <sighs> There's just no good way about doing this. We're gonna try to get this angle here to try not to hit the plate in the back. I'll tell you, their their, their stir fry was so good. It was just, it was just, just that weird, you know, realization that they had not only closed my local branch, but they're just gone from the state entirely. I need to unsubscribe. <laughs> The app is still loaded on my phone. I still get notifications on my phone all the time for deals. That fleeting hope that maybe they'll bring another one back. I'll be poison ready when they do. Oh, hey! That's rude, I just removed the door handle. There's a reason I didn't remove all the door handles. <laughs> I knew they could still do that.
problem is I can't close the door to cut the door out without it pressurizing the chamber. Um, okay, we, we need to... Alright, so... Get back in the mindset of what we're actually doing here. Uh, bottom is done. That means we rotate the ship. We've got five minutes left in the shift. Hope you're having fun. Thought I had already cut that free. What did I miss? Why did that not move? Boop. Okay, just, just stuck on there. move on because we need to do a tether that we have to cancel. That one right there. <laughs> Take your old sweet time. Have momentum there. Really should double check, to make sure that there wasn't like one on the driver's seat. Oh, that was not detached yet. <laughs> We're supposed to attach to that. That's a bad idea. Study that up. There we go. Even more fuel. <laughs> Along there, right? I thought I had sent those down last shift. I'm kind of surprised to see them still on the barge. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. That's everything that we need to send that direction, so. A little more rotation. Enough. Drift the rest of the way. If you're enjoying that door. Yeah, I might, I might find a, a Genghis Grill while I'm on vacation. It, not likely. Oh, did that break? It broke. Oh, it was right next to it. It shouldn't have. It should have pushed it. it shouldn't have broke off of it. I'm being sloppy. I, why am I doing this? I know better. Being careless. from that for 
crushes me. All right, where'd the? He did, he did left the left the uh, mattress behind. That was really dangerous. Wait it. Still at three point one percent lost. Even though we lost that kitchen cabinet, wasn't worth that much. Technically, we can still mini me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to argue that we've earned it. That's all I'm going to say. We might get the sticker, but we really not so sure we earned it. We're back to the royal we, by the way. <sighs> Nobody said that I was sending the stuff to the wrong place, so you're equally responsible for it. Good morning, shipbreaker. Even if it was already in the wrong this place by the time the call. YouTube delay... Play it to you guys. <laughs> no excuse. Oh, it's the door for me. We, we need every per fraction of a percent that we can get. I half expected them to open the door just as I press the button so I break something on the other side. This should not work. Yeah. Actually, I don't think there's a door there any... Did we cut that door out? We did. Yes, that was one that we cut between the, the barriers so they couldn't repressurize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we already got that door anyway. Paranoid about our mini me here. Ah, uh, you know what? I want the money. Where the other, where the other half of the door go? Oh, okay, here it is. Oh, no, 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 they don't come there. At least, at least it's a mistake that can be undone. Oh, where am I today? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, door goes a processor, thank you. I guess it opened the other doors when I did it. I can't. Can't claim those. I got one of the doors. All right. Um, I guess that's processor. Yeah. Funny, I know there is another door there still. Try to close it. Show me who's in charge. That door right there, it's still. <laughs> pretty sure that door is still in. Um, anything left?
feel like there was one more thing. That's the one more thing. Alright, I'll give you one chance to come off the side of that. Oh. Be stubborn. I got 11 minutes, I'm taking these stupid little lights. We need every little bit we can get. Alright. Um, I wanted to try something, which was... We got almost no money from the the O2 canister when we sent it in to the furnace. Not broken. I want to see... Like I haven't practiced doing this. I want to see if we can break it the way we can break a um, coolant canister. Make it a scrap item and then try to sell it as scrap. It was like, a, it was like what, a thousand? Something like that? So, I mean, we might end up destroying it, but we're going to bang it on the wall and see what happens. I'm going to bang it a little harder. Can we not break these? I'm afraid if I cut it, I'll just evaporate it. I can I can fire it into the wall, but it's gonna bounce off and it's just gonna go into the stratosphere and we're never gonna catch it. All right, for science, we're gonna we're gonna cut the cap off this thing. We're trying to turn it into scrap and see if we can get any value out of more value out of it. Nope, that's kind of what I expected. I think it, I think the last one sold for like 150 or something. It was something absolutely trivial. Yeah, a hundred. Yeah, we get a hundred out of the, that one, too. But we don't need all of them. <laughs> we have no use for all of these. We can, we can collect them for zero. Or we can get a hundred bucks out of them. Don't get used to the button lights. We're not becoming button lights, people. This is a, a special case. Extra making sure of the mini-me. Because there's no going back when we send this into the furnace. There's nothing left to strip button lights off of. Alright, make sure we have all the door handles. Grab another button light while we're, while we're flying through here. Alright, there's only three more button lights. We might as well get them. Such a pain. Almost feel like tethering two of them together just out of spite. More cowbell. Classic. Uh, that's that's it. That's everything. All right. There's one more thing I want to try, but it's gonna it, it, it would cost us. I want to cut this out. I wanted to cut it out and then send send this a little chunk of it last so we could monitor what our percentage was to see whether or not he's actually contributing towards our uh, percentage, not just money. But 
we can try that some other time. <laughs> on a ship that we're not on the edge of not succeeding on. All right, AA node, I, I deem you captain. You're gonna go down with the ship. Oh, me, me. I'm confident. We got this. You probably have a whole percentage to spare. There it is. Never doubted for a moment. Yeah, there's the air door we couldn't get to. I think it's literally not worth it to cut the door out. I mean, like, if we can, if the doors are shut, it's worth, you know, worth cutting them out. But cutting them from the, the frame, because the doors now are only worth, like, 300 credits, Got about five minutes left till you're done for the day. I think you lose more value in the aluminum that it takes to cut the doors out of the framework than uh, you get from the door itself. Just this one fuel caster left, right? Yeah. He has no gray. Hey, they, they get what they deserve. They caused our first, first death uh, in this run. And it was straight up murder. So, you know, their, their their fate was sealed when that happened. 298 remaining. There must have been a little chip of aluminum floating around or something. Well, no, because that would be... We must have cut something. What did we have to cut that would have cost us... Because there, there was no radiation housing, so we didn't have to cut any aluminum. I can't imagine what would be what would be left over remaining that's only 298. I don't, again, I don't think we've cut anything of value on this ship. We don't have to cut any aluminum. We don't cut anything that's not a cut point. Hmm. Curious. One AI node. There he is, right there at the end. He's he's uh he made it all the way to the end. He's enshrined in a spreadsheet. Four and a half hours, right on the dot. That's our our target for hard space. That's perfect. Even though we had to do. Like two extra ships for the first ship. Good morning, ship breaker. Uh, Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Well, then we made up some time. <laughs> uh, but we still didn't find our uh, our poster, so it carries on. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be it. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it for tonight. Um, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, it seems like we we got we got our usual numbers, so I'm glad to see that people are, you know, from my my little hiatus there, unscheduled hiatus, uh, uh, people still it still popped up in your thread to let you know that I was streaming, uh, because I'm pretty sure that YouTube is gonna forget about me. Uh, do keep an eye out. I expect to stream on Sunday. Uh, we're either going to revive the uh, SAS Factory series and work on the next SAS Factory episode 
live, which we've done before. Uh, you know, where we, we basically turn off the camera at when I'm going to clip, you know, record a clip for the actual episode and turn everything back on and then we build and work together. Uh, uh, or uh, there's something else that I might do that I'm, I don't want to get into it in case I end up not doing it. Uh, but one way or another, it's not going to be something that we normally do. It won't be hard space. Uh, and and uh, we don't have any new series to start. Uh, that's on the docket. So, um, we'll see. But uh, I will post as soon as I'm sure what we're going to do. And, um, and as soon as I'm sure that everything's working. <laughs> uh, because... Uh, uh, Satisfactory is Epic Games, and I don't know that Epic is working on my computer right now. Uh, I just haven't tested it. I guess my priority was getting Steam back up and running, and this game. Uh, so I still have to make sure Epic is functioning, and the mod manager, and that I still have access to the games and it saves all that stuff. I think I, I think I still have all that uh, before I can even be sure about that. So. Uh, we'll see how things go. But, uh, again, thank you very much for coming out. Uh, be sure to leave a like on the way out uh, if you haven't already. Uh, and we saw some new names today, which was awesome. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys on Sunday. So thank you so much, and uh, have, a, have a great night.